Welcome to video number six in the Trimlight Select series, Troubleshooting the Home Network Trimlight System. In this video, we are going to address some common issues that may arise with your Trimlight system when you are paired to your home network. If you are having difficulty with your system, the following steps we are going to discuss should resolve any issues you may be having. The most important aspect is making sure you are following all the correct steps to control your Trimlight system. More often than not, we find that issues tend to arise from user error rather than a glitch or malfunction in the Trimlight system. Before we begin, I want to clarify that video number six is for customers that are currently paired to their home Wi-Fi network to connect to their Trimlight system. If you are, continue watching this video. If you are currently using the blue light Trimlight signal to connect, please stop watching this video and go watch video number five on troubleshooting trim light when using the trim light Wi-Fi signal. Okay, so the first and most important step is to go into your device's Wi-Fi networks and connect to the home network you are using that you originally paired to trim light. Remember, this must be a 2.4 gig signal as Trimlight will not connect to a 5 gig signal. Once connected, you can open the Trimlight app and Trimlight should appear in the main screen with the toggle switch. If Trimlight does not appear in the app, locate the white Trimlight controller, usually housed inside an enclosure in your garage, and confirm you have a solid green light on the controller. If you see no light, or flashing green light or a blue light, quick press the STAAP button on the controller until the solid green light appears. If by chance you cannot get the green light to appear, simply unplug the controller for one minute and plug it back in. This is a soft reset and will resolve most issues with your trim light system. Once you get the solid green light to appear, the controller should be paired to your home network again and you should now be able to control the system through the Trimlight app. Open the Trimlight app and Trimlight, or your network name, should appear on the main screen with the toggle switch. Again, if Trimlight does not appear, make sure your device is not set to auto-join to another network, as this will keep it from staying connected to the correct signal. Also make sure your VPN is not on in your phone, as that will prevent you from connecting as well. You can also swipe down on the screen and it will refresh search devices and you should be able to find the trim light signal again. After confirming those settings are correct, if you still cannot get trim light to appear in the app, you will then want to refer back to video number four and follow the steps to repair your controller to your home network. If you still cannot get connected after watching video number four, you can reach out to your local dealer for further assistance. Once you are connected and you have the app turned on to manual mode, you will notice three settings towards the bottom of the page. The parameters for these settings should have already been set up for you during installation of Trimlight, so there should never be a need for you to change these settings. However, to confirm, the correct settings are as follows. RGB order should be set to RGB, IC should be set to UCS 1903, and total pixels should be set to the number of lights on the longest run of your home. For example, if you have a two-story home and the lower roof line has 120 lights and the upper roof line has 80 lights, you want the total pixel count to be 120. When in doubt, you can input the total number of lights on your home and the system will function correctly. It just may affect certain patterns of lights and animations. Once you have confirmed these settings are correct, you can press enter and go into the app. At this point, everything should be working in your Trimlight app. If you notice that the lights are not responding as you make changes within the app, then you have most likely lost connection to your home network signal. Signal strength will vary from home to home based on many factors we cannot control such as obstacles between where you are and the controller, what type of device you are using, and possible interference from other devices. To avoid poor connectivity, 
Always pay attention to your signal strength when connected to trim light and stay within a strong network area when programming your lights. If you have determined you have a strong home network signal and the lights are still not responding, the system may be frozen and a simple soft reset should resolve the issue. Again, you would just unplug the controller for one minute and plug it back in. With a soft reset, all of your light pattern settings and timer settings will still be saved in the system. If a soft reset does not resolve the issue, your next step would be to do a hard reset. Keep in mind, performing a hard reset will erase all custom patterns and timers you have created. Hold down the gray minus button on the controller for eight to 10 seconds until you see a quick red flash up by the green light as demonstrated here. Once you see the flash, then unplug the controller for one minute and plug it back in. This will complete the process. A hard reset restores the controller back to factory default settings, will clear all error codes, and should resolve any issue you're having with your trim light system. If the hard reset fails, you can reach out to your local trim light dealer for further assistance. In rare cases, your system may still have malfunctions after you have performed all the troubleshooting processes we discussed. If this occurs, reach out to your local dealer, explain to them you have went through all troubleshooting steps and that your system is still not functioning correctly, and they will work with you to confirm the equipment is malfunctioning and replace your trim light controller when necessary. Thanks for watching the Trim Light Troubleshooting Tutorial.